welcome back. We often receive this question. When a student speaks multiple languages, where does one language end and one language begin? Today's two-minute tip focuses on the concept of translanguaging and how to foster spaces where students can allow the full extent of their language knowledge to be used to make meaning. Our team has learned much about translanguaging from our own faculty member, Dr. Laura Hammond Ortiz, who through her research has helped us to see that translanguaging can be viewed as a way to understand how bilingual children communicate and as an approach to teaching. Check out her excellent article linked in the video notes below. Translanguaging is when a student uses their full linguistic repertoire, such as drawing upon more than one language within the same sentence or even creating new words by combining features of multiple languages. Dr. Jose Medina provides an excellent example of this concept in practice. My mom is planching my clothes. Here the student is combining the Spanish verb planchar with the English verb ending ing to convey the message that her mom is ironing her clothes. Translanguaging can also be a pedagogical approach that fosters intentional spaces for students to use more than one language to express their thoughts. In the example of planching, Dr. Medina encourages educators to affirm the student's creative combining of linguistic concepts across English and Spanish and her knowledge of planchando and ironing. In turn, we can expand the student's language bubble to include my mom is ironing y mi mamá está planchando. Translanguaging is a key component of good English learner instruction because it reminds us that language does not exist in isolation and that the rich languages of students' lives are not compartmentalized into clearly defined bins like home versus school, but rather languages work in cooperation with each other. There is a beautiful fluidity through which multilingual students make sense of their worlds across languages, often feeling most confident describing an idea in one language versus another. Rather than seeing language as a T-chart of English versus Spanish, language is viewed as a holistic resource to draw upon. The process is to be expected and is quite sophisticated. Bilingual children experiment with language in creative ways, and translanguaging is not a sign of confusion. Bilingual children translanguage all of the time with their friends and their families, and translanguaging is a normal part of learning a new language too. Additionally, translanguaging is a means for social justice and honoring the language experiences of students in our classrooms disrupts the practice of English-only learning spaces and the ideology that monolingualism is best. This approach values multilingualism as an asset and begins to confront linguistic justice and equity. So how can your classrooms foster translanguaging practices? Number one, Establish access to multiple languages. We encourage you to stock your classroom libraries with books in multiple languages, read books to your students that contain multiple languages, and to facilitate the use of bilingual dictionaries or translation apps. Additionally, by having word walls and anchor charts in multiple languages, you are conveying the messages, message that all languages are welcome. Number two. Make language use a point of praise. In conversation and in writing, encourage your students to use the languages that they have without guilt or shame. Praise the effort and skill of using multiple languages. Number three, be a co-learner. If you don't speak the language of your students, you can always be a language enthusiast. You don't have to be bilingual to implement these ideas. And number four, ask questions that allow for translanguaging. In English, we say cylinder. What might you say in Mandarin? Or what Vietnamese words do you know for this topic? Or perhaps, I'm going to ask the question in Hindi. Might you tell me the answer in whatever language you feel most comfortable? Additionally, you might say with your partner, discuss the idea first in Spanish and then complete the organizer in English. And finally, you might ask, make a list of words in your notebook. Can you write the Spanish words on the left in English and the equivalent on the right? 
We wish you the very best as you explore ways to allow translanguaging to transform your practice in classroom communication. Thank you.